zote nafikiri tukikaa hapa nafikiri moja wapo ya resolutions zile ambazo nitakana kutoa hapa na nimekaa nikingojea resolutions ni kwamba wakulima na wafanyikazi waweze kulipa fedha zao to show a new start in this sector mbarikiwe sana thank you all leaders present our farmers and uh, the participants good afternoon mimi naitwa Geoffrey Mulanya MP Nambale na niko hapa i'm very happy because Nambale actually the town was booming when sugar uh, industry was doing well Busia sugar when it started Nambale came up very very fast but Nambale has gone down because of the collapse of the sugar uh, uh, industry so i will say that uh, from what we have learned for the last two days let's ensure that we implement it uh, professor nyongo said that we must bring order the chaos that we are seeing around without order the chaos will continue and the king here for success of what we have done is the farmer mukulima kifurai najua whatever that we have discussed will be implemented to the fullest if the farmer will continue crying then we will continue having these seminars year in year out thank you so much I'm James Nikal, member of parliament for Seme constituency in Kisumu County. You heard me here. All I can say again, we are going to pass this bill. And we'll do our best to make sure it is implemented, the farmers are supported, all the factories are revived and Kenya is self-sufficient in sugar and the economy of sugar areas is revived. Thank you. Our governors, farmers, na wanainji wote. Eh, mimi naitua Joseph Oyula, MP Wabutula. I want to thank the leadership for this conference. And I want to assure the people here, let's leave this place knowing that the bill has been passed. There will be no shortcut to that. Butila people were very good farmers, but they were disappointed when corruption entered into Mumias and destroyed the sugarcane farms in Butila. I want to ask the champion, please be a champion. Please let's see the results. Please let's compare the sugar farmers to tea farmers and let's not look behind. Thank you very much and thank you for the meeting. Uh, our governors, na wakulima, mimi kwa majina ni Maluli Njendi, mbunge wa Malava. Kila ningependa kusema ni kuwa governor Kakamega County Asante for taking the leading role in realizing the pain of our farmers whose solution now is in our hands on forward. Mimi in Malawi I'm hosting two factories, West Kenya and Butali Shuka. I want to ask state factories that for us the two factories we have been crushing, our farmers have been receiving their monies but it's until this moment when there was forced closure of factories that Butali and West Kenya is now suffering. And I want to ask these factories, state factories, kuchukua mfano wa private factories which are not having problems that state factories are having. Otherwise, thank you, thank you. Kakamega County is solidly behind. This western region under Waluke is solidly under revival of our sugar factory, sugar industry in the country. Santeni. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm Julius Meli, Member of Parliament in the constituency, and uh, from the Nandi region, and 
My factories are Chemelil, Moroni, and Mumias. I want to congratulate our new champion. I think he will uh, make sure that we stop conferencing. As we've said, we've been here for almost 20 years. Immediately after this, we'll actually have a roadmap on how to make sure that when we are back here, we are back to celebrate our achievement as farmers, as stakeholders in the sugar industry. I just want to point out and say that as members of parliament, I have been a chair of the Sugar Caucus for the last 10 years. It is about this year I handed over to Honorable Waluke. And we want to say that as members of the sugar growing region, we are over 100 members in parliament. And the few that you've seen here, we are assuring this congregation that we shall pass that bill as it is and as the farmers wanted it to be. I don't think you have any worry at all. Honorable Wangwe here is only our captain, but the soldiers are there. We are ready to make sure that the issues that are going to be put in that bill or anything that we want to add shall actually be farmer-centered. The, the pivot of this particular meeting is the farmer. Two, I think also want to say this on county government. For a long time, you have not played a good ball on farmer support. I really want us to, as the national government is giving other services, really come in in big time so that the miller is not tied to the farmer. Give some support to this farmer. Every other time, I've realized here, farmers are so much dependent on a miller. Unlike in our region, where there is a small disconnect, you'll find farmers are on their own. They are actually doing most of the activities themselves. That is why when you come to our region, we are actually not in support of tying a farmer to a miller in form of zoning. We are not agreeing to that. And we can't because it is me who did the fertilizer. It is me who is doing a tractor. And what most of the farmers are doing that. So I want us to look at that. And the county government come in so that the miller is not actually coming to tie somebody and make him to pay there. The other issue is on research. I just want to say this because a presenter here yesterday said he wants Ken to stay for 20 months in the farm. Go to Mauritius, go to Sudan, go to other parts of the world. Most of the cane are 12 to 15 months and they are early maturers and you have sucrose content which is good. And then this, this issue of having way bridges which are tempered with every other time by the miller. Let us have working CTUs so that the farmer is given pay on sucrose content. Because if you, if you do your farm very well and we have proper CTUs, we will not have a problem at all. Lastly, is the issue of SLD, uh, the, the money, or what you call sugar development levy. I think Honorable Bawango is aware. We can't allow our money to go to commodity fund. We can't. This is the resolution. Let the money come to sugar board. And if possible, let's have this money within our region, is it? This is where we need to have the money. If we are going to have the headquarters in Kisumu or here or whichever, we have no problem. But the money cannot go to where? Commodity fund. It should be in sugar board when I need it. It's only about 30 minutes to Kisumu. I can pick it and I can do my farming. So lastly, I want to thank this team that we are going to make sure that the resolutions that we have today and the champion who is here and more so the super champion of this particular meeting, the president, we will support and make sure that we don't come here again to talk stories. Thank you so much and God bless you. Uh, Your Excellency Fernandez Baraza and Excellency Governors, um, my name is Julius Sunkuli. I'm the MP for Kilgoris in Narrow County. <clears throat> and my comments are very, very few. In the first place, we in Transmara consider ourselves to be new lands as far as sugar growing is concerned. We were farmers for Sony Sugar Company and we carried out a divorce and started our own company called Transmara Sugar Company, which is a private company. And the reasons why we moved away from Sony was because of the many things that you people have said here today. So because the, the company is private and um, Transmara is, that is what we have, we do not have the issues of debt. But the issues that I see here, 
Uh, now that we are a new area for sugarcane, our sugarcane, of course, is still much better than the sugarcane in many parts of Kenya. But we are approaching it cautiously because of exactly what Honorable Meli has just said, that if the sugarcane is going to take 15, so 20 months to, to be to mature, kama sasa ukiwipanda na unangwajia miaka miwili, Yule mtoto alikuwa form 1 atakuwa form 3 by the time unaanza kumlipia fees. And I think it is better that we start doing thorough research. If there is anything we can fund in sugarcane, it is research so that we can get a breed that we can we can easily harvest so that it can save us from um, waiting too long. Sugarcane should not be a very long term investment. The second thing that I see here um, Honorable Nyongo has said that we should guard against proliferation of uh, factories. Uh, I know many wakulima don't actually like monopolies, but I think there is a place that we, we, we have to stop it. We cannot continue saying that every corner should have a, a factory. Even us in the sugar industry, we have to limit the amount of land that has to be uh, covered by sugarcane even if we need it because if we make entire kenya a sugarcane area it is going to be risky for the rest of the crops and we have to make the sugarcane factories that exist now efficient instead of wanting to have more and more and lastly because we haven't spoken in front of many governors like here today your excellencies i see one thing many of these functions have been devolved and I know you are still asking for more to be devolved. But I can also see sometimes that the governors are putting emphasis on things which are shared between them and the MPs, like bursaries and so on. Yet agriculture leaves as a big gap. They, we don't have uh, agricultural extension officers. We don't have funding for agricultural uh, machinery. We have nothing. Why don't we concentrate on that agriculture and leave us uh, MPs to deal with bursaries. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mine will be very brief. Your Excellencies, I just want to clarify one or two issues. The issue that was raised by the Governor for Migori, my good friend, uh, Senator Ochilo, that the, he hopes that the bill separates between county government functions and national functions. That was very critical. Since the bill mirrors the task force report, which also separated the two, rest assured, Governor, that indeed we separated the two. Functions which go to the counties have been mirrored there, and functions which go to the national government have also been established. I also wish to clarify the key point that has come out on this conference, touching on the issue of SDL fund, where is it going to be domiciled? The bill recognizes that SDL fund shall be and will always be domiciled in the Kenya Sugar Board and not the commodity fund as people are propagating. The issue that also came up with Nabi yesterday was the issue of pricing, which indeed you have taken up as an amendment to the bill. And I want to confirm to the congregation that Mwishma Nabi is here. When it comes to that, please take it up the way you did, promise and move on. I want also to assure farmers that the bill, once we have done the, the board, you have a place to make your contribution. Make sure the persons you give us are persons of good reputation, pointed out, out by yourselves, so that when people are making decisions, you have to decide for two things, matters of the board and matters of the fund. You will manage the resources and you will produce the resources yourselves. Finally, I wish to invite my colleagues, MPs, that all this good English that has been spoken here, all the Kiswahili that has been spoken here, shall go to waste if at all on Thursday, 14th of this month, will not be on the floor. Myself alone cannot push it. I expect that we all join hands. You have always supported the bill you have supported today, kindly don't forget to hold one another so that we move together on Thursday. Thank you so much and may the farmers of the sugar again.
prosper to greater heights. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Honorable Angwe. Three things. MPs, make sure we don't leave here until we know who would be whipping each county. Because if we have to succeed on Thursday, we must whip per county. So we must know Bungoma, who will whip the MPs in Bungoma, who will whip the MPs in Kakamega, who will whip the MPs in Busia, and we have a strategy around it. Why? Because already we've seen some of the amendments are mischievous. And we must be on guard. Honorable uh, Professor Nyangnyo, I want to confirm to you that I usually carry, and Wangwe will tell you, I usually carry the task force report as we debate. So when I see we are trying to go outside, I remind them, let's read this page. What does it say? So we will remain loyal to the cause of this conference. Members who are here, please make a personal call to your own MP and remind him that on Thursday, those who are not here, that on Thursday we have a special session with destiny. Sugar Bill is our destiny. Thank you very much. Can I now call the CEO, LREP, to take over? Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Nabi. I want to take this opportunity to finally thank our, our members in the sugar industry, the top leadership led by our governors and honorable members of parliament, our MCAs present, and all protocols observed. I would wish to take this opportunity to say that in LREB, we have a few big things that we have to follow up that we have seen or rather what have been agreed on. One of them that is very critical and we are going to implement is the county's participation as the national government in the Wangwe Bill is recommending the participation of counties because you, as you all know it is a devolved function. We will take up that critically as LREB. We will drive that agenda on behalf of this uh, team that is seated here today. We will be able to do as much as possible, bring on board all our members of parliament within the block. And I want to thank those who came here that this is wonderful because this is affirmative action that you have decided to do for the benefit of farmers. I don't really wish to say much, but I want to thank everybody. I want to thank His Excellency uh, Governor Barraza, who came up with this idea and supported fully. I remember in Eldred when we were about three governors. You are about Governor Barraza, Governor Lusaka, Governor Ayako, uh, Honorable Nabi, and Mugabe this has turned out to what we are now seeing. And I thank you so much for the cooperation and even the sacrifice that you've actually taken in terms of supporting this initiative as governor. And I'm not surprised and I welcome the idea that you are now the champion of this uh, sugar um, industry matters in this block. And I thank all of you. Thank you, Excellency Tuoma, for also being our champion in that other area which is in uh, menstrual hygiene you know in the lake region block we have champions and with in that sector of menstrual hygiene our champion is his excellency governor otuoma and he does it pretty well he will show you how to do it in another in another uh, uh, conclave so thank you so much our our governors, we want to thank you for supporting the block and supporting the secretariat and making it possible to be active. So at this point in time, I want to take this opportunity 
to call upon Excellency. Uh, to, I would wish, therefore, to call upon His Excellency Governor Barraza FCPA, who is the host, to take over the next, the rest of the protocols. Excellency Governor, you are welcome. And champion, our champion, you are now the chair and the champion of the sugar <laughs> matters. Uh, thank you very much, CEO. I think we've had a very fruitful uh, discussion for the last two days. And now I want to request uh, the Vice Chair of LREP, Ambayani Governor Lusaka, to come and make a few remarks and invite the Chair of LREP, who will make a few remarks, then our Prime Cabinet Secretary, Musalem Davadi, has sent his message, which I'll deliver on his behalf, na tumaliza kongamano letu, ili tuanze kufuatilia implementation. Karibu sana, Governor Lusaka. Uh, thank you so much, our, our champion. Sorry for my voice. Before I, I make a few remarks as a vice, allow me to recognize the deputy governors who are here. They have been silent listeners to all the conversation, but they are back up when you go back to our counties. Pastor Jen Fambatiani, that's the deputy governor of Bungoma County, Makofi Kwake. The Deputy Governor Thelomena, that's the Deputy Governor Transoya. Thank you so, so much. Do we have another deputy? Fortunately, they are women. Ah, <coughs> Deputy Governor Homer Bay, yes, thank you so much. Wanga, yes, Gladys Wanga. Any other? We have the others, but I'm sure they have left. <clears throat> so, as a advice, I'll always keep it brief, like I say. With the due respect to the ladies, like a miniskirt, short enough to arouse interest, but long enough to cover the subject matter. <laughs> this is an important conference for us, and the Lake, Lake Victoria Economic Block was not an accident. <clears throat> we share this region and we realize we must come together for economies of scale. No single count is going to succeed alone. So that's why we came together. And like I did mention yesterday, nobody's going to fight for our rights. We must stand as a region. If you look at central Kenya, they are fighting for coffee and tea. And for us, our survival is sugarcane. Therefore, this is very important that as even the bill goes to uh, the National Assembly, we wish you well. I have been a speaker, and like they have rightly said, it is one thing to talk Kizungu Mingi Hapa, then when it comes to the crucial hour of voting, you are not there. It's a total waste of time. What matters is the vote on Thursday. So I also want to appeal to all of you to be there, to vote so that we have a bill that is going to protect sugarcane and that's going to protect our farmers. As governors from this region, we have decided to work together, irrespective of our political affiliations. When it comes to this, we must remain united. Like Benjamin Franklin said, we must all hang together or most assuredly we shall hang separately. So we must be unanimous in what we are doing and I want just to thank all those who have been here, your contributions, I'm sure they will not go to waste and that we are going to see Mumia's fire back, Zoya fire back and all our sugar factories, Sony, Echemelil, Muhoroni. And Miwani. Yes, uh, that, was also, that was also my factory when I was a DO in Muhoroni. Miwani then was part of Muhoroni. So I want to thank you. And with those very many remarks, it's now my great and singular honor to invite my chair, Professor Nyang Nyong.
Professor Nyang Nyong to come and make like Amin would say, come and utter his words. <laughs> Welcome, Professor. Sandy Sana Karibu Karibu. Uh, thank you, Ken. Thank you, Kevin Ken. Uh, I, I want to begin by thanking the um, Secretariat for working very hard under Governor Fernandez Barraza, the host of this conference, to make this conference a fantastic success. Makofi Kwao. Asante Nisana. Second, I want to thank you for participating and making contributions to what the deliberations. Uh, I was very impressed by the enthusiasm during the last panel for everybody wanting to contribute. It shows how passionate you are about this sugar industry. Keep that passion burning. Don't lose it. We need it at every moment from now on to make sure that the gains we have had are conserved and the interests that we want to promote are realized. So it is our responsibility as Wakaji, our Lake Region Economic Block, to make sure that we shepherd what Parliament is going to do this coming week into a reality, transforming the sugar industry into what we want it to look like the way we deliberated here. I am extremely passionate about this sugar industry because of the many meetings and discussions in Parliament and the Council of Governors and, and, and finally what we recommended as governors through the future chairman of COG and the chairman of Lake Region Economic Block. And it's no wonder that again we come to Kakamega to discuss sugar precisely because the predecessor of my friend uh, Fernandez Barraza has handled, handed over the mantle that he was holding in championing the reform and reformation of the sugar industry. The resolutions that we are going to read there, out there after this will show you in here or out there. We are going to do it here. Okay. The resolutions that we are going to, do, going to do here after this are going to show you that um, we and the Secretariat have captured the essence of our discussions. And the chair of the Lake Region Economic Block, I'm really happy that it has come to this. Let me take this opportunity, therefore, to call my friend Fernandez Barraza to read uh, the speech of the Prime Cabinet Secretary, Honorable Musali Amudavadi, who was supposed to close this conference, but unfortunately it's not coming, but has delegated uh, Fernandez Baraza, His Excellency Governor of Kakamega, to do that. I don't know whether that is a precursor to his being Prime Cabinet Secretary in the future, but now let me give him the blessing. Yeah, thank you, our Prof, our Chair. Allow me to present the speech or the remarks that uh, our Honorable Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalem Davadi was to convey today. Due to...